four women left for dead in a series of gruesome killings that haunted families, friends, and left the St. Louis metro on edge in the early 90s. Advanced DNA technology now leading to a break in these cold cases. The evidence leading area investigators to the notorious package killer, a man that's already behind bars. News Force Caroline Hacker live in Clayton tonight to explain why investigators stuck with the case for more than 30 years, hoping for the break they finally got. Caroline. Well, the families of these women hoped for years that they would not be forgotten despite all of that. And today served as a bright spot in what's been a dark 30 years. The bodies of multiple women hidden inside storage containers began popping up around the metro in 1990. 18 year old Robin Meehan was discovered stuffed between two mattresses along a roadway in Lincoln County in March of 1990. 27 year old Brenda Pruitt was found off Page and Bennington in Maryland Heights in October of the same year. 21 year old Sandra Little was found in February of 1991 near Highway 79 and I 70 in O'Fallon. And it wasn't until recently that Mulberg confessed to the murder of 40 year old Donna Reitmeyer. She was found in South City along South Broadway. Monday, prosecutors announced four first degree murder charges against 73 year old Gary Mulberg, the man they say is behind the serial killings. A DNA match linked him to the crimes. An overwhelming feeling for the lead detective. Incredible. Incredible. I'm so glad, obviously, all the family members are here today. Um, you know, to be able to tell them what happened to their loved ones was an incredible feeling. Families of these women, relieved. You know, it just, it does, it really brings a sense of closure. Um, doesn't stop the rage against him, and, you know, I mean, he's already in prison for right. life, he's, and he's, you know, not healthy, so, so he's probably not going to be around much longer. So, in a way, we're not getting our justice, per se, but he's, he hasn't hurt nobody in 32 years. Now, there is, of course, another equally important victim of Gary Mulberg. That is 57-year-old Kenneth Atchison. He was killed in 1993, left in a box in Mulberg's basement for weeks until he was ultimately arrested in southern Illinois. And it was that murder that led to a conviction and a subsequent life sentence in prison. We're live in Clayton tonight. Caroline Hecker, News 4. And Caroline, thank you. To learn more about the crimes Mulberg is accused of committing, we have a full breakdown inside this story on the Camovie News app. Find our coverage under Top Stories.